Rock 108, Iowa's Pure Rock. Hey, it is Ned hanging out here in the studio today with a band that I've seen multiple times now. They've been to Iowa multiple times, but come straight from the land of Texas down south, man. So it's absolutely amazing to have these guys in the studio right now. Texas Hippie Coalition. What's, What's up, guys? What's up, brother? Thanks for having us. Uh, yeah, man. I'm glad to have you guys here. You guys have been here in Iowa a couple times. I'm like, you know, I got to get them in studio like right now. So, Thanks and we were just us. talking a little bit ago, talking about Rock on the Range being the first time that I saw you guys. And you said how, how great that festival has done for you guys and everything. I mean, just kind of take me through that, like Rock on the Range as a band. I'm the spectator. You guys are the band. How's that go for you? Man, I know that, um, you know, the first year that they put us on it, they had us on that second stage over there, you know, kind of off and hidden a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I know that by the time we were in, like, the second or third song, that whole side had filled up, and someone had said the inside had cleared out. And <laughs> then afterwards, we had um, the people that run the show um, come up and tell us that uh, they had never seen anything like it. They had actually had to send security over to clear the walkway around the <laughs> arena because so many people had gathered on the walkway. Yeah. It's for people to be moving, and people were just standing yeah, still. Yeah, stand, they were turn really around. worried about yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, they put us there again this last time we were there, and um, it happened again. You know, it's just a beautiful thing, and mm-hmm. uh, we just appreciate Rock on the Range uh, introducing Texas Hippie Coalition to quite a few people. Cause yeah, you did to me, so. Yeah, you know, right way on, back so We're so happy just that, you know. I think that we're one of those bands that are um, we're under discovery right now. You mm-hmm. know, we can see ourselves peaking and coming to a top, but you know, it doesn't happen fast. It's been a slow hoe, you know, and s- slow road to hoe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, and and you guys are <clears throat> looking you up at what now? You guys have been around since two thousand four. My phone keeps ringing on me. I don't know what the hell it's doing. There we go. We're good. Sorry. <laughs> hey, look at that. I can't even learn from my own job here. Yeah. Science of damn phones. Um, you guys have been around since like mid-2000s, 2004, 2005, and uh, kind of, you know, doing the touring circuit, playing these big festivals and whatnot. How would you say, and if you could give any suggestions to up-and-coming bands and kind of going through what you guys are going through, what kind of advice do you have for them? Don't stop. Yeah. Don't stop. No matter what you hear, don't stop. Just keep mm-hmm. rolling. Yeah. If you believe in yourself, other people are going to believe in you too. I promise you that. <laughs> All yeah. right. So. You know, positive energy is one thing we kind of concentrate on. You know, that's why we have a big uh, uh, power energy circle before every show, you know, get together for prayer. And, mm-hmm. you know, and it's just great being out there on, you know, big shows, you know, big touring shows like Mayhem, you know, and you get yeah. guys like Corn and Ice-T and those other bands, you know, just admiring the way that we handle ourselves and mm-hmm. take care of business and, like John said, you know, there's going to be things that are going to happen. You know, you're going to get flat tires. You got to change it yourself. You're going, oh, lose, yeah. you're going to lose a guitar player. You got to replace him. You know, mm-hmm. guitar players. You lose nine guitar players. Right. Yeah. They're all <laughs> They're going to kill me next week. <laughs> <laughs> going down, man. It's all right. <laughs> well, even but, going um, back to but, some of the smaller bands, like even, you know, if they can get book a gig playing the parking lot for some of these festivals, you're still playing for like, you know, 3,000 people yeah. and stuff. So, I mean, just hitting one fan at a yeah. time, man, just keeping the music going and whatnot. That's why so. we put uh, more miles on tires than probably any motorcycle club in the nation because yeah. we're always rolling down the highway, you know. And mm. if um, if you haven't seen us in a while, just look us up because we're going to be coming to your town soon and, uh, you know, rolling. Yeah, and speaking mm-hmm. of that, you obviously just, you pretty much just started this tour a couple days ago, actually, and just rolled in from, was it Minneapolis, right? Or Minnesota, no, no, I forgot. Been on this thing since like July. Yeah. Oh, yeah. July. Yeah. Yeah. What am I looking at? Then, well, yeah, we we just post like you know the we the update. post so yeah. much. Right. The update doesn't. Okay. We don't put everything out there. But yeah, we've been rolling since June, really. We had a little oh, bit man. of time off yeah. in July, and uh, we're actually rolling all the way through about the 16th of September, and then mm-hmm. we'll be home for about a month, and then okay. do it, hitting it again. That's what I was about to ask him. Like you have a you have these tour dates up to here, and then there's like a big old break between I think October into November, mm-hmm. and then back on it again during December. Of course, no, we too. all everybody here has you know side projects, and October, November is kind of open. We do have one date I think in October for THC, but mm-hmm. everybody else has other things that they you know they knew that October, November was that open slot, to right? Them. Do what you had to do and get her done because we all know that next year uh, is the whole year of THC. Yeah. New yeah. album coming yeah. out. Record, oh, damn. All right. Start recording in December, finish up in January, doing Europe in February and March. And mm-hmm. as soon as we come home, hopefully the single will already hit. And oh, sweet, man. Hopefully you guys will be pushing it and playing it. Upon, oh, yeah. Damn even straight. upon request. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and you just released that album last year, actually. So you're already starting to. Move again here. And we spit an album out every two years yeah, automatically, and we could probably do more. It's just you know, yeah, 
give a give a little bit of space, a little downtime for everyone. Definitely. <laughs> now, when I was looking you guys up, you know, and uh, and one of the things that was coined for you guys is that you created the term red dirt metal. First ones to start that. So where did that kind of come from? I've never heard of red dirt metal, and I'm thinking, of course, well, down south, you got the red dirt and whatnot. So I mean. Tell me what you're it thinking wasn't like that. Us that came up with it. Yeah, Rich, Rich will tell you it wasn't it's us. A, it was given to us. Oh, yeah, right. it really was, and it's a badge we wear with merit. You know, uh, yeah. the country guys down there. You know, like uh, Kevin Fowler, Pat Green, Johnny Cooper, mm-hmm. uh, Cody Canada, and the Departed. All those guys. Um, they all in this music red dirt. You know, and you know Texas uh, music has its own billboard, the Texas yeah. music billboard charts and everything. And so it's kind of a strange little niche that that they, we've. <laughs> That that part of the United States is picked out for itself, and they refer to it as red dirt. Yeah, and because my lyrical content's usually a little bit more along the storytelling lines of like old country songs or like mm-hmm. the red dirt songs. Uh, country Fever one year, um, somebody said, you know, these boys are pure D red dirt metal. Yeah. And it stuck. You it know? sure does. And man, I, yeah. We're not exactly sure who. You know, one person told me it was Johnny Cooper. Another person said, no, Kevin Fowler said he said it. You know, so, <laughs> yeah. you know, we don't care who said it. <laughs> right. Know, it's on the internet we, now. We, at this we point, love all those guys. Point. Hell, it's on our shirts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let's, let's coin that term, man. Exactly. Yeah. Speaking of that, uh, <laughs> THCofficial.com. <laughs> <laughs> Go buy your merch. All your all your THC paraphernalia <laughs> needs <laughs> keeps you on the road, man. I mean, yeah. hey, there you go. Hey, man, now, yeah. one of the things I've always uh, I'm a huge Pantera fan, and obviously, you guys coming from there, and I've, I love the song Turn It Up, it's still my favorite video and also song. And you have that lyric in there, you know, at Vinny's, uh, Vinny's house, you know, kind of thing. Right, so, right, right. tell me, kind of like. You know, how did the Pantera bring it out in you? And do you do you know the members personally? Have you met the guys, Vinny, you know, and all them? I mean, we're acquaintances. I wouldn't really. I, don't, I bet you if you asked Vinny, he might not know who we were. As a matter right. of fact, uh, I, um, I was trying to get into the clubhouse one night, and I had lost my driver's license. And uh, Rita um, Dimebag's uh, widow, she said, yeah. well, hey, I'll get you in, you know. And she went over, and I was standing by the back door, and she told Benny Paul, said, hey, Big Dad Rich is out here, but he don't have an ID. Can you get him in? He goes, mm-hmm. I don't know no fucking Big Dad <laughs> Rich. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I can't get him you in. Know, <laughs> and, and, you know, but anyways, he did come out and get me, and he said, uh, you know, if you had your driver's license, you could get in. And uh you should get a driver's license. I said, man, I'm an outlaw, and I don't yeah. carry a damn driver's license, you know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, but uh, Vinny knows that we have a lot of ad- admiration for him. And, mm. you know, I'm a – I'm a, you know, I, me and Timmy talk about it a lot, about becoming a one-man empire. Yeah. And uh, that's what I'm striving to be. And I think that uh, I think that Vinny is definitely a one-man empire, you know, growing himself and everything underneath his roof beyond just music. You know, it's an awesome thing to see mm. how good he's doing. Yes, but have a hell yeah and Texas Hippie Coalition tour. That'd be awesome. I'm just saying, you know. We played with them, yeah, uh, the man them. Five Finger, actually, in Colorado. Oh, a sweet. While back, so. Yeah, I love yeah, those it's Five always, Finger. It's uh, always good to see those guys. We did a festival down in yep. San Antonio and actually got trapped in an elevator with Chad yeah. after he had came off stage, which was <laughs> Never saw rough. a man running so fast when them elevator doors opened up. <laughs> like, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Can't stand these guys Help anymore. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> now, and, and, and kind of along that lines, too. You know, what was kind of like the thing, you know, for me in radio, it was like when I first saw Kiss and everything kind of get my kind of got me going into the music world. What about you guys? Like, and, and ind- individually, too. I mean, what was that thing that said, like, yeah, I got to do this, man. Music is my jam. John Bonham. John Bonham's yeah, Easy enough. I mean, yeah, I just watch him drumming, dude. There you go. Who, you know, that? It's been a, it's hard to say. You know, my grandmother got me into playing piano back when I was a little kid and it just yeah. blossomed from there. And I've been very fortunate be able to do this for a living since I was 16 so damn man all right <laughs> it's kind of like that fire in it your is. stomach you know you got to have that fire in order to keep it going and Most you could say that a lot of, about a lot of things thick too. skin and fire <laughs> yeah thick skin and fire for sure I just seen Johnny Cash with a guitar and singing and talking on the tv with his own tv show and I was mm-hmm. like I'm gonna be Johnny Cash when I grow up. Hey, there you, you know go, man. I mean? So uh, that's what I'm striving to do: is grow up. Well, on the road. <laughs> <laughs> and still working on it. All right, I see the other two back there, man. Can you tell me? I love Joe Walsh. Not Joe Walsh. Walsh. Yeah. All right, I perfect. I want to grow up and be him. Is what I want to be. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm away, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are you, man? Uh, I, my uncle showed me Eruption a long time ago, so I, Eddie Van Halen kind of helped me get into Ooh, it. Oh yeah, dude. I mean, we that is still played on radio stations. <laughs> All over the world, just because of that amazing guitar playing and the yeah. finger tapping and whatnot, it's just like 
Ah, it's just so Van amazing, Halen, dude. Yeah. It's, it's Eddie fucking Van Halen. Exactly. I mean, come on, right? Exactly. Now, obviously, one of the big things that's happening in the news right now is obviously Houston really getting flooded down right now and whatnot. Do you guys have friends down there that yeah, live family, in that area? Yeah. Friends, friends and family. family. Yeah. yeah, well, definitely my thoughts go out to all those guys. Oh, and, man, uh, our, our prayers definitely go out to everyone down there. Yeah. And, uh, we're going to be doing something soon. We've been approached by the governor of Texas oh, uh, cool. along with the Grammy Association, and we're going to be doing something to help benefit, you know, whatever concert it is. Of course, we're going to play for free, mm-hmm. donate our time and talent uh, to the cause. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, Damn, Hopefully, um, you know, um, I'm a big fan of Joel Osteen down there in his church down there in Houston, and I know I'll be doing something personally through them to help get it out there, but it is uh, – it's a catastrophe that has hit home, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, you never really know what it's like until it does hit home. So yeah. we're going to, you know, whatever energy we have to put into it, we're definitely going to strive to help people, you know, even if it's just get toilet paper <laughs> yeah. to wipe with, you know <laughs> right. what I mean, and good drinking water. You know, whatever we have to do, we're definitely going to put forth that effort. Right Stay strong, Texas. Right on. We're yeah, praying man. for you, Texas. I can respect the hell out of that. Beyond God the bless Texas. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, to wrap it up, is there anything you guys want the fans to know? Obviously, you guys playing Spicoli's tonight yep. in Waterloo right here, pretty much, what, eight minutes up the yep. street, which is <laughs> awesome. So it's even better. It wasn't a far drive for you guys. So anything you want the fans to know? Obviously, the brand new album coming out next year. Yeah, I mean, definitely. You know, like I said, you know, we, uh, we want the fans to know that uh, – you know, we come from Texas, they call us the hippies, and our fans are the coalition, and we, yeah. we think of them more uh, as family than we do fans, and some people ask, you know, I let them know, and we don't have a whole lot of fans, but right. our family is humongous, That's right. and, yeah, it is, yeah. and it is growing, and uh, we keep that relationship with our fans, you know, we keep it close. Once a year, we have a big shindig down Colorado, Oklahoma, Texas, somewhere every 420, have a Texas Hippie Coalition 420 celebration, and Sweet. It be, it's getting bigger and bigger every Year, year, so yeah. you know it's a lot of fun when you get to see people all the time. I mean, like there was a show the other night I was at in Cleveland, and I had just seen the guy two nights in a row at two <laughs> other shows in like Wisconsin and Damn. Illinois. And he was there, and he, he was, was like, was "This there, is yeah. this is my twentieth show in three years." You know, and I was like, "Lord of <laughs> man, right, this well, is only like my nineteenth show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't show up for all." Of them. <laughs> we got to stand in. <laughs> but uh, it's a wonderful thing, you know. Like I said, we have the greatest family. Uh, we do. Without the them, there is no us. You know yeah, nice, they're the man. coalition for sure. And you know, I'm pretty sure there's an Iowa chapter. There's like uh, over a hundred chapters worldwide. So mm-hmm. get involved with the chapter. It would help you know really like when we're coming to town or when we'll be close. And if there's anything special that you can get be a part of, like we have VIP meet and greets. Used to, I would be the only one to get to meet anybody because everybody was so busy working and tearing down. You right. know, but now you know we make we have special. VIP meet and greet set up yeah. so the whole band can be there. You can get your picture taken with uh, Cord. If you got the hots for Cord, Timmy, uh, <laughs> Timmy, I'll let you get as close to him as That's you want. The for special a VIP. You know? <laughs> yeah. And, then, and, then, and yeah, if you're special. any married people out there, keep your old lady on the other side of John during the picture. You know, <laughs> John will touch everybody. It's, it's a custom VIP. He doesn't even care you know? if it says property of on it. He's still going to touch it. <laughs> and and Vada just wants Iowa to thank uh, wants to thank Iowa for yeah, letting him yeah. out of jail. <laughs> <laughs> I just love y'all's treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Iowa, listen, if you're listening, do not arrest us. Please. <laughs> Please. Holy shit. Band of outlaws. <laughs> right up here in Iowa, man. Yeah, yeah, outlaw don't mean criminal. We need you to know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys. This has honestly been one of my more fun interviews I've ever done. So hey, thank you, man. Thank you guys you, man. so much for coming on in. Be sure to check out Texas Hippie Coalition tonight at Spicoli's in Waterloo. Going to be an absolute blast, man. Hey, thanks for playing us, man. Yeah, we appreciate, appreciate you, brother. For sure, man. Thank you, guys.